Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. ¿Cómo se sienten en su último día de clases? How do you feel tonight? I feel very happy for being here. I'm happy because, too. yes, because I want to learn more. That's nice. Uh, tonight we're going to uh, to see how much you learn in the course. Because we are going to develop some exercises about uh, the general topic that we studied in the course. Vamos a hacer algunos ejercicios de los temas que vimos en el curso. Uh, something simple. Uh, we are going to, to see uh, It's okay, teacher. how much you learn. Cuánto, cuánto avanzaron. I think everybody has, uh, has done a, a great job since you are here in the last day. Uh, la mayoría siempre estuvo en, en todas las videoconferencias. We have uh, most of the participants always in the class. So that is good because that shows that you are interested in learning English. So thank you for that. Eh, gracias porque en las videoconferencias nunca tuvimos a uh, Pocos miembros, sino que siempre anduvimos por los 20, 25. Most of you always were here in the classes. And that's good for you. And continue like that. See you and see, keep going. So once again, uh, thank you for coming tonight. We are going to finish uh, this course pre-intermediate one, then you are going to advance to a, to a higher level. So I hope you have learned and I hope you put this knowledge in practice. Espero que pongan en práctica todo lo que aprendieron en este curso. Uh, something, some things you made uh, already know and some things maybe uh, were new for you. Algunas cosas probablemente fueron nuevas and others not. But it's always uh, to keep studying, keep uh, practicing and reviewing. No importa que sean los mismos temas because English is about practice and practice. And if we, if you don't practice, you will, uh, loss you will lose uh, your skills if you don't practice so i encourage you to continue like this you are doing a good job you are doing a very uh, great job so let's start with the class uh, i hope you can hear me uh, well because it's raining here I don't know if at your home is raining. Is it raining at your home? Yes, it's yes. raining. It's raining. It's raining. Uh, ¿De dónde se conectan? Uh, where are you connected from? San Miguel. In which department? San Miguel. And it's raining as well. Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado. Is, is, it is raining there? Sí. How do you say empieza? It's starting. It starts. What? It starts. Uh, or begins. Begins. Uh -huh. Right now. <laughs> as well, it's starting raining. Yes. Ya está cayendo un poco más tarde, así que espero que no tengamos problemas con la conexión. So we are uh, start with the class. And I have uh, prepared some questions for you about the course. Uh, let me see. I'm going to share my screen, the, the presentation for today. 
Uh, wait a minute, please. Get on segundito. Okay, to do, tonight is the final review. Y hemos preparado algunos ejercicios about the general topic. Not all of them, but uh, the most, uh, the major, the majority of them. La mayoría de ellos. So, to, tonight is Tuesday, August 17. And tonight is the class number 16, the last one. Uh, well, let's talk about the course. Let's discuss about your experience, your experience uh, about the topic that we were studying through the course, some challenges, what did you like, uh, what was easy, what was difficult, and some and things like this, question like this. So I want to hear you. I want to hear your experience. Quiero escuchar uh, qué les pareció el curso, qué cómo se sintieron, qué qué fue difícil, qué les gustó, qué aprendieron, uh, si recuerdan los temas. Let's let's see. I want to hear you. Any volunteers? I want you to tell me about your experiences. I I uh, I remember some topics uh, because I was I I study English oh, twelve years ago or oh, no oh. sixteen years ago and mm -hmm. I uh, remember in the class. Mm -hmm. uh, remember uh, present continuous uh, 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 simple uh, present uh, uh, simple pre present uh, uh, possessive possessive adjective uh -huh. and my your her his modal um, auxiliary mm -hmm. yes and but, what did you learn during this course? What is something new that you learned? Uh, so, vocabulary, vocabulary. New vocabulary. New vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Like which words? It, it, um, I, I remember pronouns because I uh, forget. <laughs> the pronouns. Personal but pronouns. Pronouns, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. As you said, as you said, uh, English is about practice, and if you stop practicing, you will uh, you will lose ability. Se me van a olvidar un par de cositas, y también así como the fluency at the time you speak. So that is important that you continue practicing. No matter, no matter if you take courses or if you do that alone by your own. Uh, if you are interested into learning, you will practice by yourself. Okay, so thank you for sharing your experience, Sandra. Let's see someone else. I it's raining now. <laughs> it's, it's raining very hot, very hard. I mean, very hard. It's raining very hard. So, what can you say? Can you hear me? You can tell me about about your experiences. Mm -hmm. The ones who can hear me. I can hear you, teacher. Okay, Manuel. Tell me uh, uh, which are some topics that we study this course. Some topics. Some topics. Ah, uh, correct. I I learned the 
the ruler from the selective questions when when we when we, we give the answer which one uh, okay. the the blue one that I didn't know and also also um the use from the word wish I always use what what I I didn't know how how to use the wish okay and and maybe the the ruler when you use the word good that is the question polite or how how good. how it was good polite Correct. when you Correct. offer we i didn't know that it was more polite more, more polite correct i didn't know that okay and i had i had learned uh, ah, so much i think thank you for that very much okay that's my pleasure so I, i'm glad you learn some new things and can you tell me what was a challenge? What was something difficult for you? Not only for the, in the topics, but something that was uh, difficult, for example, the time, uh, your connection, um, I don't know, something that you had a, a little bit problem. Sure. Dígame. Uh, I don't know if I can participate in this class because my internet is very bad right now. It's very slow. Yeah, like uh, mine. Because it's raining a little in my house, the internet is bad. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, I, I, I guess we are experiencing some uh, struggles as well because of the rain. Creo que la mayoría estamos teniendo un poquito de problemas en eso, en la conectividad. But as long as you can hear, you can do that. You you can stay in the class. And if you can speak, don't worry. Maybe in the chat they they can teach you. Uh, repeat again, please. I I couldn't hear you. Maybe they can write in the chat. Ah, yes. You can write, you can type something in the chat. You can tell us about something that you want to share with us. So I was asking Manuel, what was something difficult? What was a challenge in this course? For me, maybe that this was the first time that I that I am listening and speaking with somebody because okay. so all the class that I I have taken or uh, I don't know how to say you uh, have been taken always, correct they are always writing ah, okay and just that that's the best only grammar i guess only the theory correct and when when we listen and speak i think we, you can learn more okay. yeah you you learn from the others and you develop more skills for example this listening skills uh speaking skills and you can think in English. And the form to speak, sometimes we don't know the, the, the best form to, to speak. And if you listen to somebody tell it, you can learn that, that word. Yeah, that, that is true. Because we learn from the others. By listening, you can listen 
how uh, somebody pronounce a word and the accent as well. Some new words. Correct. And that is good. Thank that's you, Manuel. Why, that's why, why I like it. That is why you like it. Okay. And the other Manuel, can you hear me? Manuel Palacios. Yes, I can hear you. What was something easy for you in this course? <clears throat> and topic or any, anything, anything that you uh, you felt easy? Okay, I can, I can tell you what uh, was the challenge uh, okay. uh, before uh, answer the other question. A challenge for me is uh, have uh, uh, one hour uh, every day. Uh, every day. Between Sunday and, and, and Thursday for the class because I have a daughter. Ah, okay. Uh, is two years old and she all the time is demanding time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like right. that. Like right now. Um, <coughs> yes. <laughs> um, I, I was trying to pay attention all the time, but uh, sometimes it was uh, uh, difficult. Yeah, and you see, <coughs> uh, I, I, I I say I feel that the most of topics of topics in this course was were a little easy because I <clears throat> I was studying 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 a long time ago, but I never finished my English courses uh, okay. before, so I, I am uh, returning to to the classes now, and in, in this time I want to finish. Uh, you want to, to complete it? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Uh, uh -huh, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, I guess this is a good op opportunity for you to complete your courses because you are at home. Sometimes we have uh, distractions, but we understand it's normal. We as well have distractions, not only you, but mm -hmm. me as well. Sometimes we have uh, more people in our house and we have we have noise and things like that but that is an effort that you do every night and dedicate one hour to the video conference and you will get uh, a good result if you continue like that so another one Let me hear somebody else. Any question about this, like this, any of these questions? I want to, to participate. Okay. Uh, what ahead. did I like? What did I like? I like uh, to to have uh, the opportunity to to have um, uh, the experience to to receive the classes online. Uh, this pandemic doesn't uh, stop us. We are uh, 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 I forget everything <laughs> what I okay. want to say. Uh, you, can, but, you can say that in Spanish. Because we okay. want to know okay. about your experience. Oh, okay. 
me, me gustó mucho poder este, eh, tener esta clase en línea porque he, he tenido la experiencia, uh, o sea, no me he quedado este, sin, sin poder seguir adelante aprendiendo el inglés, aunque sea despacio, aunque cueste, porque por el trabajo que tenemos eh, hasta, digamos, hasta tarde, pero podemos seguir adelante este, en línea, podemos este, compartir con muchas personas este, eh, los conocimientos de, de todos, pues, y así poder sí. irnos, ir aprendiendo, este, aprendiendo un poquito más, ¿verdad? Este, y la pregunta tres, que, ¿cuál es el... el como un challenge, este, es aprender más este, gramática, este, porque yo pues, he recibido, recibí algunos cursos hace bastante tiempo y, y pues no lo había practicado mucho okay. este, en la universidad había estudiado un poquito, porque no es mi, mi, mi carrera, digamos, el, un poquito, entonces, este, eh, siento que, que he aprendido bastante, este, he, he podido recordar porque lo que uno aprende y no lo practica, pues se le olvida, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, so. eso, es lo que, eso es lo que me ha gustado mucho del curso. Ok, thank y, you. Okay, gracias. Thank you, Silvia. Yes, as Silvia says, we never stop. Uh, even though the pandemic, we continue studying, we continue connecting uh, every night. And that is important for you, for your uh, learning experience. Remember that you are responsible, responsible of your learning. Ustedes son los responsables de su aprendizaje, not the teacher. You are the responsible. We are only the guide. Uh, for you, you are only, we are only like a tool for you. So that is the, the attitude you have to, to have, a positive attitude, like Sylvia, always yeah. be positive. Casi no le, casi no le escucho como, cual, que pregunto? No, uh, I was telling that we have to keep a positive attitude. Mantener una actitud positiva. Yes. I don't know if you can hear me. It's raining in here. The water is getting into, into the room. No sé si me escuchan bien. It's, it's raining in here. Yes. It's raining everywhere. Yes, it's okay. Yes. Okay, let's let's continue with the after these experiences that you share. Let's review some exercise. Let's do some exercise. Okay, uh pueden ver la presentación. Yes, yes. Okay, vamos a resolver estas pequeñas oraciones. What we have to do is to complete the following, following WH question. That is something basic for you, something easy that we have studied before. So you what can do you like? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, Where do you okay, live? Look. This is the question and this is the answer. What we have to do is to complete where? only the questions. Where? What is missing? Where 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 do you live? So we when, use where. when do, do you live? Where do you live? Where? 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 When? where do you live? And the answer is I live in London. Where? And for the next one, number two, what would be who, the who is that girl? 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 She's my sister. Number three. How? How? How do you 
go to school. school. How do you go? How do you go to school? Next one. When that you have to think when the bank opens. When, the bank open. when you can say what when. Time? What, what time? What time? What time? What time? You can say what time. What? Both are correct. You can use both. And the last one. W -H why question. are you wearing a top? Why? 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 Why are you wearing that coat? Why are you wearing that coat? Because it's hot. Okay, thank you. Can Let's you go. hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I can, I can hear you, Sandy. Let's continue with the next six slides. Another WH question exercise. In here, we, what we have to do is to write questions about the words involved. O hacer la pregunta de acuerdo con... Igual, con la respuesta que está acá. But this time you have to, to make the complete questions, not only the WH form. Using WH, of course, but you have to complete all the questions, the complete question. So in this case, this is the answer. What will be the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta para esta respuesta que está aquí? They went to Spain. You seen WH question. Where did they go? 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 Okay, that is the correct question. And the answer is they went to Spain. As you can see, we are using simple past. And that is a topic that we didn't study, but you have uh, you have knowledge about that. What does he do? No, 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 no. What? Number two. What does, does he write? What does? What does he do? What does he do? Oh, yeah. What does he do? He write. Uh, right. Right. Mm -hmm. Or do. It can be both. What does he write? What does he do? As you can see, we have the auxiliary class. And here we have a third person, una tercera persona. Cuando usamos el auxiliar das. Aquí en el verbo principal ya no necesitamos la S. No decimos what does he write. Only write. And in the answer, yes, he writes novels. Tercera persona, agregamos el, la S al verbo. He writes novels. Ok, number three. What does Lazy like? Oh. Uh, what what do you like? Or what? What does she play? What does she like? Lazy what does like. She like. Lazy like. Oh, that's she like. Like. Oh, what does she like? She likes soccer. Lazy likes soccer. Okay, that is the the right question then we have the answer the girls watch a movie what did she watch what what did she watch? what what did what did what did, what did they the girls watch they or the they, girls they the girls they watch, they watch. Her. What did they watch? The girls watch a movie. 
Okay. And the last one. The last WH question. He discovered the, the truth. What did he what, discover? What did he discover? What, did he discover? what does what he discover? Did. What did? What did? What did he, he discover? Discover. What did he discover? He discovered the truth. Okay, very nice. No se les ha olvidado. Okay, thank you. Next exercise. Using WH question. Then you have to complete the following questions when the following sentences with the correct verb oh this what did is this is simple present this is simple present and you have to find the correct uh, verb the right I verb am. I am. I I am. we need a verb mm -hmm. In work. this case, work. I work. work. I work. Yes, I work. I at work. Bank. At the bank. I work at the bank. She lives. She lives. She lives. She lives. She lives. With her parents. And this is, let's see, this is a, a difficult, it's not lay, difficult, but how lay, lay, house, and an, lay, lay, on grass. Uh, okay, you so can say lay. lay. There are some possibilities. You can say lay. Oh, oh, the, the original is. Feed. What is feed? Comer. Yes, that is mm. eat for humans, but for animals, that is, uh, we say feed. Mm. Like calves feed on grass. Mm. Okay. And next one. Mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. For salary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Receive. How do you say uh, El Ghana? We no. Uh, talking Ons. about salary. Get. He gets. We can get. say get. We can say get. And the original word is air. Okay. Because it's third person, we add the S. He gets or, or he earns a handsome salary, very attractive salary. She earns. Usamos earn when we talk about salary. How much uh, do you earn? No decimos how much do you win? Because win is like winning a game. But to talk about salary or money, we say earn. So he earns a handsome salary. Number five. Janet wants to be a singer. He wants. Wants. Okay, very nice. Wants with S. Because it's she. Mm -hmm. And... Number six, Emily cook. It's cook. 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 Or it's cook. Or as well, it's. She eats or she cooks delicious. Ma cooking. Makes. Also makes. There are some possibilities. And the three are Acceptable. She makes. Emily makes delicious cookies. Number seven. 
Sofía en her husband living are living in Singapore. Live in Singapore. Live. Live. Because we are using simple oh, yes. present. Simple present. They live in ah, Singapore. Simple. Okay. Yeah. But if you uh, if you want to use um what would be that? Present continuous will be living. They are living in Singapore. That will be present continuous. Okay, last one. Last Enjoy. one. Enjoy. Jack and Carol to play card games. Enjoy. Enjoy. Like. Enjoy or like. Or we can say also love. They love to play card games. Okay, thank you. Very good job. I guess it stopped raining. Ya no está lloviendo tanto aquí. I don't know at your home. Is it still raining? No. Ya se fue la lluvia. Okay. Aquí sí. Ah, sí. Se fue la luz. Se fue la luz. Sí. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let's continue. Then we have the other topic, time expression. Do you remember about time expression? Okay, aquí vamos a ver algunas que creo que no cubrimos. Pero es bueno que uh, nos expo expongamos a nuevos a nuevas palabras. So you have to think carefully. We are going to complete these sentences using the correct phrase. Uh, aquí tenemos algunos time expressions. We have six in total and we have six uh, sentences. There is one for each sentence. We will use one for each sentence. So you have to choose the correct one. I'm ready. Okay. Already. We have already. Already. Already seen the film. We have already seen that movie, that film. So we don't want to see it again. Ya la vieron, so they don't want to see that again. Then we have Julie goes to the hell club twice, twice a, week. a week. Twice a week. Twice a week. Because we say on Mondays and Tuesdays, two days a week. Then uh, the number three. Never. 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 Can never. you read it complete? Never. I've, I've never heard never. such never nonsense. Heard such I have never heard yeah. such a nonsense Price idea. It is an absolutely crazy idea. I have never heard such no sense. Okay, very well. Number four. Don't wake the baby. She is just, just going to sleep. Just go. Just go. Just go. She has, in this case, Este apóstrofe y la S no significa possession. Significa que el verbo has que está con, uh, constraído. She has, she, she has she just, 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 she has just gone to sleep. She has just gone to sleep. Number five. Have you ever spoken to a have you have you ever, ever. spoken ever. we use 
have you ever to talk about experiences? And this is present perfect, si no me equivoco. And we say, have you ever spoken to a famous person? We ask about experiences using have you ever. And the last one. Well, nos forever. Queda. forever. They have been forever. 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 Or they been forever. They forever been in, in, interested in music and often attend concerts. So as you can as as you could see. Those were new uh, time expressions, but you can use that correctly. And that's good. Let's continue. We have demonstrative pronouns. You have to choose between these, does, that, these, or those to complete the sentence. Number one, this singular or plural? Look, singular. Look at this newspaper here because we have the word here. So that means that the newspaper is, is close, is near the person. Look at this newspaper here. Okay, number two. This. 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 Plural. This. Plural. This. This. These are my this. grandparents. And then? And those. 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 Those people those. over there. I my, are my friends' grandparents. Okay, those over there. Y sabemos que es those, porque aquí tenemos la palabra over there, que significa ahí, o sea que no están, no están tan cerca de la persona. Those people over there. Then we have the number three. That. That building over there is the that, that building over there. That building. Mm -hmm. That building. Over there is the the what? The Chrysler, 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 Chrysler building. Chrysler building. Okay, that is the name. This is my. Mm -hmm. this is my this is my mobile phone. Mobile this, phone. We say and mobile. That, and that, and is that, is, that is your mobile phone on the shelf over there. Mm -hmm. That. What is a shelf? Mm. You know what is a shelf? No, that is like an estante in Spanish, in which you uh, you keep your books, donde pueden poner libros o cosas, a shelf. Repisa. Something. Yeah, like a repisa. Then the next one. This, this, this photo oh. here. This, because we have the word here, these photos here are much better than, than what? Those. Oh, than okay. those. those photos. On the book. Okay, number... One, two, three, four, five, six, number six. 
this was did this was a great evening this porque no podemos decir that that was a great evening o a menos de que sea que se le estén contando a alguien about what you uh, what you did last evening le pueden decir that was a great evening o si todavía no si estamos hablando en presente this was a great evening si todavía no ha pasado el día verdad o la noche this was a great evening si podemos decir it was a great evening it was <coughs> también si sí se puede it was a great evening but in this case, we are using demonstrative. But it's acceptable. It was a great evening. And the last one. This is the question. Are these. This. Are these your pencils? Are these your pencils here? And then. We have finished this exercise. Let me see, we have two more exercises. And we have 15 minutes. We as well study comparatives. So what we, you have to do is to write the comparative. Dirty. Or in this case, it will be comparative, superlative. Yeah, comparative. We are going to write the, the comparative next to the next to the noun here, without the word done, because we when we talk about comparative, we use the word done. But in this case, we don't we don't need that. What's the real comparative? The clean. Cleaner. 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 Because it's a short noun. We say clean, cleaner. Then we have colder. Cold. Colder. 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 And for a slow. Slower. Slower. Lower, we add er. Large. Larger. Larger. Okay. And pretty. 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 And what is the rule? We replace the y. I e r. I E R. We replace the Y. We change the letter Y for the I. Then we have happy. Happier. 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 We like the happy hour. This is the happier hour. Then we have hot. Other. 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 What, what happened when there is a T at the end? Double T. Double T. We Double. add another T. Hotter. We say hotter. Bigger. 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 And big. Bigger. One, Bigger. one G or two? Two. Two. G. two. two. Bigger. Then we have thin. Thinner. Thinner. Let's say thinner mm -hmm. and beautiful, more beautiful. More beautiful. We say more beautiful. Okay, there is something wrong here. Yeah. We add double N. Yes, because it's like this example. We add one more N. And por qué es more beautiful here? 
it's long, long because the ad, the noun is more than one syllable. Pero aquí me pueden preguntar por qué happy is is, is happier uh, because we say happy happy only one de un solo happy as well easy se escribe um, like this let me see easy we you can say that has one uh, more than one syllable but the correct one is the comparative we say easier easier because it's a short pronunciation it's a short pronunciation So we don't say more easy, we say easier. Okay, the last exercise. Always using comparative. In this case, you are going to use the word done and the correct comparative. More. We have those are, are more. more are more intelligent. More intelligent. Because we have a long now. A long adjective. This is an adjective, something that we use to describe a thing or a person. So we say dogs are more intelligent than rabbits. And number two, Yes. Older. Yes. Older. 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 Lucy is more older. Older. More older. Older. Only older. 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 Is older than Ellie. And number three. Russia is far. Far more large or far larger than the UK. Far larger. Than the United Kingdom. Number four. My Latin class is more boring or boring here. It doesn't make sense. More boring or the other option? We have two syllables. More boring. Both boring. Two syllables. So it's a long adjective. We say more. More boring. Than my English class. Number five. Yeah. Can you read the complete sentence? No. More clean. Yeah. We say cleaner. <laughs> cleaner. Okay. Because we pronounce that we pronounce that clean in only one syllable. Clean. In the United Kingdom, in the UK, in the UK, I mean, the streets are generally cleaner than in the USA. And what happened with number six? So London is more. How do you pronounce how do you pronounce more. busy? How many syllables do you hear? More busy. 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 Busier. 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 
Dan Glasgow. Glasgow. And number seven. How do you what? pronounce quiet? How number many quiet. syllables do you hear? Quiet. 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 Only one. So we say quieter. 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 Julie is quieter than her sister. Es más tranquila que su hermano. O más callada. And number eight. Amanda is more, more ambitious. More, 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 more ambitious. More ambitious because it's an, a long adjective. Let me see how much time do we have. We are almost, almost there. Number nine. My garden is a lot more, more colorful, more, more, more colorful than this park. We say more colorful, colorful. And the last one. More con this house is a bit more, more comfortable. How do you pronounce that word? It's not comfortable, not. We say comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable. It's more comfortable. comfortable. We don't say comfortable or comf comfortable. Not we say comfortable. It's more comfortable. And what is the mean of that? What is the meaning of comfortable? Comfortable. It's like more. Más acogedor o cómoda. Rabbits are more quieter this year. Without using the translator, the Google translator. Okay. And uh, this, this was the last exercise for tonight. Uh, review. And this is the end of the course. So thank you guys for being here, the whole course. Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me, tell, teacher. Tell me. Eh, en, en mi certificado me le falta un nombre, no me había fijado. One me name. Eh, Francis. José Luis Mendoza Martínez tiene y le falta Francis. José Luis Francis. José Luis, José Luis José. Francis. Francis. Ajá. O sea que tiene tres nombres. Sí. Yes. Ah, quizás debió haber sido por la longitud del nombre que, que solo le pusieron dos. Teacher, a mí me pusieron el de Paredes, llevo Paredes Martínez, pero yo soy Paredes de Bonifaz, entonces eh, está diferente. ¿verdad? Entonces ahí no sé cómo hacer. Pues. No he escrito a... En este caso sería a Elena Méndez. Alba. No, Alba. en este caso, a cualquier consulta que tengan acerca de, de cómo les aparecen los certificados, creo que le pueden escribir a Elena Méndez. Ah, ok. Porque es la encargada de... Bueno, ella es la encargada general de, de este curso. Oh, okay. Cualquier cosa administrativa la pueden consultar con ella. Creo que ella está en el grupo de WhatsApp. O la pueden buscar como Elena Méndez. Creo que eh, sí tienen su número. Pueden okay. hacerle eh, alguna consulta a ella. O en el grupo de WhatsApp mencionándola a ella. Uh -huh. Para que lo lea. Okay. No se sabe cuándo inicia el, el próximo curso. 
del momento no, no nos han dado esa información. Bueno. Así que este, estén pendientes con ellos porque ellos les van a hacer llegar eh, esa información. Creo que esto sería todo conmigo. Eh, me alegro de que hayan estado en este curso. Fueron unas personas bastante responsables porque estuvieron en la mayoría de las videoconferencias. Espero que ya hayan completado todos los trámites sí, para poder inscribirse en el otro curso. Y no me queda más que darle las gracias. Fue un placer haber estado con ustedes. Gracias por el respeto que siempre mostraron. Y siempre hubo ese compañerismo que se ayudaron entre, entre todos cuando tenían problemas o alguna duda. Y fue agradable la experiencia con ustedes. Así que les agradezco. Y como les decía, continúen con los cursos, no se detengan. Hagan un poquito el esfuerzo. Sé que a veces cuesta, ¿verdad? Después del trabajo, pero al final va a ser algo que va a ser bueno para ustedes. Ya sea en su trabajo o en su vida cotidiana. Si algún día llegan a viajar, eh, ya no les va a costar tanto comunicarse, ¿verdad? Con otra gente. Sí. Y gracias. Muchas gracias. Así que eso va a ser todo. Gracias, sí, sí, sí. teacher. Pasen una feliz noche. Nice. See you later. Muchas gracias. Have gracias, teacher. Muy fino de su parte. Ok, muchas gracias. gracias. See you. Goodbye. Good Goodbye, luck. Bye, teacher. Buena Good suerte a todos nice. en su trabajo y nice. hey, éxito. Gracias, igualmente, teacher. See you then.